Hi y'all, this is part three of Reading with Intent. Why is it so hard to read BIPOC authors? Parts one and two, I covered shopping, how brick and mortars segregate things out, and how online the algorithm gives you recommendations only on your path. And I said the way to overcome this is get names of authors and titles of books from your social media friends. But I also said that the list is going to be shorter than you think it should be. And I said, part of that is big publishing. Big publishing is in it to make money. They're corporations. They need to make money for their shareholders. That is their purpose for being. Since their purpose for being is to make money, they go for the largest audience possible. If you've done any study of business, they separate things into buckets. In part one, I mentioned that American demographic, 80% of America identifies as white, 20% identifies as non-white. That means the bucket for white is four times as big as the bucket for non-white. If you are a corporation in the, for the money and you want the largest audience possible, most of your product is going to be aimed at the largest bucket possible. So white. You're also going to try and do things as predictable and as comfortable as you can. You know how to distribute to a certain market. You're going to distribute to that market first and worry about anything else, any expansions, only if you have the time and money. Therefore, the buyers of product are going to look for things that fit your bucket and fit the distribution system that you have in place and the marketing system you already have in place. Big publishing is big. It has a big history. Its system has been in place for hundreds of years. They're comfortable with something about a decade or even three decades behind where society is right now. They don't move fast. Therefore, the products they're going to put out are that far behind the curve. They are getting new readers in, they are changing, but it's going to be slow. And therefore BIPOC that is available for us to read at the big publisher level isn't gonna be very much. We have to depend on indies and small press to make up the difference. And small press, bless them, doesn't solve all the issues. More on that in part four.